Up goes Lozi again. Strange to see two right backs with the same style of players, Lozi and Armfield. Loyakano. Beautiful one to Boyla and a great save by Springer. Idiot for Armfield. Oh, Hitchens has scored. Oh, what a defensive blunder by the Italians. That was shattering sort of a goal with 38 minutes gone. Hitchens has put England one goal to nil into the lead. So, the dying minutes of the first half, the Yakano with the free kick for Italy. Back to Lo Yakano. Mora. Well, that shows you the value of good defense. Three men behind Springer as he came out. Throw to Italy. Polki to Castelletti. Sivori. A great goal. A brilliant goal. Oh, and what joy is going on in the crowd. And there's Sivori. Absolutely surrounded. The referee trying to get the photographers off the field, but after 43 minutes, Sivari has equalized. Lozi, the right back coming up. Comes Corso. And a brilliant save by Springer. Reeves to Haynes, and that was one time the England boys were a bit too fast. Robson. Peel for a goal for hands for everything and the referee is giving nothing. Right, Hitchens. A beautiful one to Haynes, a glorious chance. And a glorious save and Buffon is hurt. Buffon is hurt. Sivori. Sivori to Polki. To Sivori. This is a chance for Italy. Well, it must have been Braginti who put it over the top. And here come Italy again. Sivari, Moira. Back to Sivari. To Loyacono, Braginti, if there. He scored, Braginti. the photographers the stadium erupts as Italy who have never beaten England at all are 2-1 in the lead now it's Robson Greaves Hitchens making ground on his left a pass but Hitchens through a goal that's the second goal for Hitchens with 12 minutes left for play, England have equalized. Corso and Briginti moving in very quickly. And another brilliant save by Springer. Trapattoni, the left half back. Now to Haynes, that's a bad one. To Greaves. He scored! And the England reserves go mad as five minutes from the end, England have taken the lead. And the handful of English people here leap to their feet. And this really is a shock that England should be 3-2 in the lead. 